Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hands. We're back with another one. The interesting topic that I want to talk about is investing. But you know, usually you hear people when you think of investment, you're thinking about, you know, money. But I'm talking about like a mental, emotional investment, and in this case, um, who you're investing yourself with. Take your time when it comes to investing in certain people and certain individuals. Because at the end of the day, that's time and energy that you're not going to get back. And a lot of people tend to waste a lot of time and a lot of energy on the wrong people. And who are the wrong people? I'm talking about people who are negative, people who are, you know, you know, destructive, you know, that don't really do anything to enrich and, and help your life. And it's not just, well, why well, I got to be somebody, you know, as if, why gotta be what they could do for you? What about can you do for them? You know, it's a, it's a two way street. It's it, it constantly loops around. You know, like what we were talking about before. If you're doing something positive for me, I could do something positive for you. When I'm down, you help me. I help you. You know, I give you words of encouragement. You know, you give me words of encouragement. Maybe I'm feeling down. Maybe I feel like I'm ready to back out or quit. And for you to be the person to be like, you know, no, don't do that. You know, maintain yourself no matter what. Don't give up. You know, find a people like that. People who you can invest in who are actually trying to better themselves. When you see what they're doing is better for their life, it motivates you. Like as if, damn, this person's doing that. Maybe I need to step my game up. Or, you know, it just sparks me to want to do something a little bit different with my life. Makes me want to, you know, tackle new challenges, new obstacles to make a better life for me. These are the kind of people that are, that's the huge difference between, you know, or positive person that you would like to invest time in. Now, the negative person is the naysayer, one that gossips all the time, can't know when to, you know, just be quiet, let it go. Like those hands called loose lips sink ships. You know, they're spending their time, you know, investing in all the wrong things. You know, they have maybe friends that they know are negative and they choose to still be around whether it's for the sake of company or because of certain predicaments um they choose to be in a negative state um they don't want to change their circumstances and they want to come to you and just keep telling you this stuff over and over again and yet you know they keep repeating the same thing over and over again you try to be a good friend and you're trying to tell them well hey it don't have to be like that Maybe there's one practical step that you can make to make a change and they don't even want to take the practical or even the minimum step. You know, people like that, you can find yourself investing a lot of time and there's no results, no changes. And so what that does for you, that makes you in turn feel a certain way, even about yourself. What it is that you're doing? Why are you around this person? Why are you around certain people? You know, or is everybody like this or and the majority is the reality is, yeah, there are a lot of people that are negative and that's just the reality no matter where you go school work you name it you know just walking up and down the street you're going to find people who you know come from all walks of life that led them to where they are now you know everybody goes through different things but ultimately we're responsible for our own lives and we're responsible for the ultimate outcome of how we approach life and how we approach circumstances and situations so if they, you know, out of everything that they've been through, and a lot of people have been through negative situations, I've been through negative situations, but if they have not learned to convert that into something positive, then that's something lacking on their end. It's something that they have to go back and reassess or, you know, to change to make their lives better. Um, So, I mean, that's what you're going to run into as far as like people who are negative, but you want to invest your time in the people that's really caring, that's really motivating, you know, they will push you to be a better you, not something completely different. I'm saying a better you, a, a better you that you know that you can be or didn't see. And yet it's still it's still you. It's authentically you, not something that they're trying to force down your throat, not something that they're trying to make you be completely out of your being. I'm talking about a better version of yourself. And you may find yourself, well, maybe that's just one or two people or maybe that's just one. Or maybe that's not even anybody right then and there. You may just be the only person by yourself. If you're by yourself at the moment, you know, don't get discouraged. Like I said in the previous video, be patient 
and continue to work on making a better you to the point where eventually that person, those friends, that relationship, you know, that comes to you and you know that it's right for you, you can go ahead and take advantage of it and you will appreciate and know that, hey, this is actually worth it. This is worth my time. This is worth this person as a whole is worth investing into and they in turn are investing into you. And it's going to make, you know, from that point on, everything else that you do rich and fulfilling, you know. So, yeah, just be mindful of everything that you do. Be mindful of the people that you keep in your corner. Like I said, this could be a random person. This could be just associates. This could be your friends, so-called best friends. This could be family. But, yeah, be in tune and really check out and see who you have in your corner, who you have in your circle. And if need be, make the necessary changes to where, hey, like the old saying goes, loving from afar. You can still love a person, but you don't necessarily have to be in that person's same presence of mind or be there with them. It may be family. Maybe, you know, you have some people who have families, you have family issues or, you know, you have maybe so-called friends or maybe, maybe, you know, destructive. You don't have to hang out with them, but you can still love them from afar, you know, pray from them for afar, meaning that, hey, I wish the best for you. But you know what? You stay right there. You stay over there. I don't 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 call me. I call you, but make that make that an urgent thing for your life. Otherwise, you're going to continue to expose yourself to a lot of negative situations. You'll continue to hinder and block yourself from really being able to experience a positive outcome, a positive life for yourself. And you're closing the door to potential opportunities to where you can actually meet somebody who is just as like minded as you, just as positive as you, wants to make just as much changes as you. And it may even make one want to make more than what you're doing, but it still pushes you. So definitely consider what you're investing in, because at the end of the day, like anything, you know, hey, a lot of people invest in a lot of things and a lot of people lose. It's all a part of life. You know, you live and you learn. But hopefully you try to learn and try to go about life, you know, with different results, different opportunities, because otherwise, if you're repeating the same thing over and over, expecting different results, that's madness. And it's never going to change if you expect to lose weight, and but yet you keep eating all this junk food and you're not even exercising how you expect to lose weight, you know? So with that being said, everybody, I love you. Stay tuned for more content. You guys, wait so everybody out there. Peace.